Ford's here this morning. As we mentioned, got five of the 2021 F-150s for a great ride and drive experience today. So uh, I want to bring you guys some insight on all the differences between these trucks. We've got a lot of different packages for you. I got Platinum, Limited, XLT, STX, and more. Can't wait to dive into these trucks and see what the difference is and upgrades and uh, what's left and, and what came uh, on these great trucks. In addition to for the 2021 year model, just a nice crisp morning here at Aikens. Get everything set up. Stay tuned. Today, I want to give you some insight onto differences between the trucks, what's changed from the 2020 to the 2021s. Talk to some customers that are going to enjoy and drive these trucks today. So I uh, look forward to bringing you guys some more insight on a truck that's been six years now. So 2015, uh, this body style came out, did some tweaks to it. In my opinion, nothing revolutionary yet evolutionary. The truck has been great for us for the past six years. So they just did things that Ford always does, add great features to an already great truck. Look forward to bringing you guys some great insight today. Let's get to it. So we've got Platinum, we've got XLT, got limited STX and another XLT one thing also guys we've got race red is back still got lead foot but magnetic is gone so this carbonized gray has replaced magnetic and to me that's kind of risky because magnetic has been one of the best colors for the, this truck uh, segment for the f-150 for a long time so carbonized gray replaces uh magnetic so kind of risky but i like the color it looks great we've got the iconic silver is back i'm very happy for that and then i didn't know if this was that blue color or the antimatter uh grayish blue or the smoke quartz i talked to the ford reps this is the smoked quartz tinted metallic clear coat <laughs> mouthful to say that one had to really just redo it uh get it right don't really know what this color is guys it's got a grayish bluish tint to it a real pretty color you can definitely tell there's the magnetic three down it's definitely darker than the mag than the i keep saying magnetic so carbonized gray i gotta get that in my head carbonized gray has replaced magnetic uh there's lead foot and then there's your carbonized gray there guys you get to see them out here in all the sunlight then the tried and true race red wheel size that's a 20 inch wheel kind of looks like the previous 18 inch wheel i like the way that styling looks on that wheel especially on the red got them all set up for everyone this morning to ride here at akins So first off is the race red 2021 f-150 xlt now ford says they have 16 different grill combinations throughout their entire lineup to give you more customizable options i like this grill here and of course you see uh ford has gone away from the c-shaped led running light daytime marker it's an l shape now and you've got high beam low beam stacked on top of each other with your turn signal on the xlt uh, in between that different front bumper as well this XLT does have a 360 camera, which is a great option. And this 20 inch wheel here looks more like the uh, previous year model 18 inch wheel. So I do like this wheel. I loved it when it was on an 18. Then going up to a 20 uh, looks great also. Hey, Ford says that every body panel has been changed on this truck, uh, front to back, top to bottom. So cool there. You know, nothing uh, revolutionary, but just an evolution of an already great truck see part of your 360 camera option there also and also what i really love on the xlt they're making the 12 inch touchscreen available as an optional upgrade as well so you this camera is going to be um, phenomenal as far as the clarity and then the just the size and it not being so uh vertical i like it being more horizontal shaped is going to be a, a really nice feature too fit and finish looks much nicer this one has the bno audio even the cloth seats have been upgraded has a better a more plush uh, just a soft feel to it even on the dash panels they've got uh, some texture components now it's not that hard plastic has a nice soft touch to it um, still have the nice dovetail shape it's not as prominent as it was on the previous gen from what i'm seeing guys but i still love that big large window spacing 
Another thing too that I have experienced with uh, the 15 to 20 year models, the doors don't seem to shut uh, as smooth and as tight as I would like. The 2021 is much better. So I don't know if any of you have experienced the doors not feeling too solid when you shut them on the 2021 much better so that's a definite improvement also the also the door handles look like they are longer i feel like the older door handle was shorter it wouldn't didn't have the width this does uh lockable key touch there keyless lock even the fx4 stickers have changed slightly as well as the rear tail lights let's take a look at the tailgate it's got a ford liner in it got a nice 400 watt max power source right there in the, in the bed now bed lighting and these tailgates now have been much improved you've got a place to clamp some wood down or some lumber or just anything you've got two places for some seat clamps and you've got an actual ruler uh, on the tailgate so this, this is definitely a workshop bench you've got a place here to lay your phone to take instructions uh, easier if you're working on a job and need to watch a youtube video hopefully as you're doing now guys so it, they've, they've put a lot of thought into useful functionality items that are just going to bring value to the customer i also see a camera in the bed too so a new feature there camera uh, now available in the bed a sharp looking super cab stx package take a look at the inside of it now even it gets a eight inch touch screen so eight inch uh, throughout is a smaller screen you'll see guys love that you're going to get at least an eight inch screen in all of your vehicles on 2021 fords these seats are also a little bit different love how soft and smooth these feel uh feels this feels really nice center console has been changed also for you this has the functional flip out work area very nice 2021 STX. Let's check out the grill. This is a lead foot gray. So the 16 different grills. This has very similar to the 2020 model. It has that honeycomb gloss black grill shape. Even has 360 camera, front camera option, uh, even available on this one as well, guys. I like the fog light functionality. The fog light. It no longer looks like it's an afterthought. The fog light housing looks like it definitely is just uh, you know thought of throughout the process and it just flows nicely in the combination of the upper grill uh, assembly and then your lower bumper. Next up, the Iconic Silver XLT. Been a truly great color for us all last year. It's a little bit of a darker tint to it than the uh, Ingot Silver. And I think it looks great on 2021. Again, a different FX4 sticker chain slightly rear tail light chain slightly as well tailgate you've got a nice trim piece across the top now as well as the uh, very similar attributes on the bottom of the tailgate and of course the rear buffer looks different also coming around let's check out the inside of this one so xlt very similar to the race red so this one we got a center console finally so here's center console flip down workspace bench area Nice infotainment inside the cluster there. New steering wheel, 12 inch display. Here on the limited, Josh is gonna show us the tailgate. So the tailgate obviously has always came down. Show us what we got going on here, Josh. So finally we've got a tailgate that comes up on its own. Love that feature. That's one that's been asked about and finally is here, looks great. So on the limited you see this is a late availability engine but it has the power boost so it's a 3.5 liter twin turbo with the hybrid engine as well so class leading in, in horsepower 430 horsepower and 570 pound feet of torque just a beast of a truck uh it's going to get you over 20 miles a gallon so i really love that functionality there now on the limited up front of those different grill choices. You've got uh, a very tough looking, substantial front grill, a new LED headlight system. So you got high beam, low beam, and your turn signals now on the, on the bottom. So it went away from the C-shaped daytime running light to just the L-shaped, uh, very bright and substantial. I'm impressed and excited to see how the LEDs turned out as far as overall clarity. 
the 2020 LEDs really didn't review that well, so so they greatly improved uh, the clarity and brightness of the 2021s. And the F-150 Lariat Sport in lead foot gray. Here's another example of another front grille option for you guys. This has the LED package too. So on the Lariat Sport, I like how the inlay is black as well. So it's not chrome. So it really pops and matches the Lariat Sport package for you. Went with that grayish look on the wheel package too. And let's check out the interior. Uh, now this is something different. You don't typically see a contrasting color, but they've got like a brownish, I have to see what the exact name of it is, uh, colored. Uh, piping and some accents even on the center console there even up on your door panel and up on top too so this kind of looks like an old school platinum interior that dark masala check this out too guys the bno audio bang and olsen now has speakers in the headrest how crazy is that looks killer and of course you've seen this shifter that folds down and then this flips up so you've got a nice workable flat working space a great feature now on the lariat uh, of course you get the 12-inch screen and then you've got just nice creature comforts with your buttons everything feels really premium the dials these two buttons here can also incorporate and do some functionalities up on the screen uh, i'm very impressed with the interior i think it looks fantastic here we have a platinum in the smoke quartz metallic check out this platinum interior got some nice contrast stitching and even piping in here feels like a suede insert there on the inside got a nice contrast of that uh, terracotta almost looking brown 12 inch Bang & Olsen. I want to show you guys also in the now in the headrest you get some subtle speakers there as well as up above so a very even more premium surround sound system throughout. Mr. Ford was so gracious to bring us these vehicles and do a ride and drive for us. They've been with us all day long. It's been a really great day. It's the end of the day so I'm just now getting my hands on one. Been letting our great customers come by and check them out. So I want to show you guys some quick insights to the differences between the 2020 year model F-150, that previous generation that's been around for six years, from 2015 to 2020, and the newly uh, 2021 F-150. Now this is not a revolutionary change, but an evolutionary change because, you know, it's like the old saying goes, don't fix it if it's not broke. So already a phenomenal truck, that 2015 truck really set the stage for the future of all the truck market, especially in the half ton trucks. And we're really glad, I'm really glad that, that Ford did not do anything drastic. They just added to uh, some of the things that you, the customer said to, that what you needed to see in the next truck. So I'm really glad to see that they, they were listening to the customer and did the proper changes to get that sweet spot in the next generation F-150. So let's dive right in and show you guys some of the differences. So first off, the grill. Up front, we've got 16 different grills available for the F-150 lineup across the whole segment. There's 16 different grills. So that's for listening to me, the accessory guy, that hey, let's do some different grills, some different options. So currently right now, you've got a pretty basic grill combination. There's a King Ranch grill. I know that right there is an XLT grill just from seeing it. The very far one's a platinum grill on the very far end there. You've got a, a Lariat Sport right here in the Iconic Silver on the 2020 and then the, the red STX, that's the STX grill. So we easily know what grill correlates to what truck on the previous generation. So it's gonna be a little different. I'm already studying, but it's gonna be a little different to know uh, what grill goes with what truck, what's available. There's so many different packages. I mean, there's five trucks here and there's five different grills. So pretty neat. I love that Ford seeing that uh, diversity is a good thing when it comes to different options. So on the front of the 2021, this is the XLT. Uh, 302A package, you see it has a nice uh, chrome gr grill with some black inlay in the background. Also front camera, you can now get a front camera option. You can even get a 360 camera option on an XLT truck. So that's a great option there. You don't have to buy the high end truck to get some great features and amenities. Uh, also one of the most notorious things is this headlight. The headlight uh, used to have a, uh, a split bar through it there for a couple years, 2015 to 2017. They went away with that and went to a more C-style shaped daytime running light surround. Now it's just to more of an L-style. So this daytime running light LED is in the L shape. And then you've got 
high beam, low beam stacked on top of each other with a turn signal in the center there. When you go up to a platinum or limited, the turn signal is going to be down at the bottom here. So subtle differences even in the headlights between the different packages, which is a, a cool option. Also, the lower, the lower front bumper has been revamped. Uh, I like how the fog light is now looks more like a part of the vehicle. It doesn't look like an afterthought. Like this particular bumper here, uh, it's a good looking bumper, nothing wrong with this truck, but uh, this fog light looks like it really was, oh, let's build a bumper, and oh yeah, we need to put a fog light in it. So this particular one here um, also has some LED daytime running light in the bottom of it, but it also looks like it's more form fitting to the vehicle. It just looks like the fit and finish is much better uh, on the 2021s. Now while we're up front, let's talk engines. So we've got uh, five engines that carried over from the 2020 uh, year model and in addition to the power boost too, which we'll get into. The power boost is that hybrid engine uh, found on, on your upper trim levels. Uh, but we still got, now we've got the 3.3 liter naturally aspirated uh, V6. We got the 2.7 liter EcoBoost. I also gained a little more power as well as the 3.5 liter twin turbo. Uh, which now has 400 horsepower, which is an increase, as well as more torque. And then that five liter Coyote V8, I'm glad to see it's still here for you too, guys. Um, and then we've just got the, the turbo diesel still available. And then they got that power boost. So the, the engine power plant is still there uh, and, to, and a great premium there for you guys too. Um, come on around, let's take a look at some of the other components. So every body panel on the truck is new. The hood, the front bumpers, the uh, door panels, the uh, side fenders, the uh, tailgate on the back, the rear bumper, every component is new for this generation. So I would truly love to see that. Now, as far as the chassis, the chassis is still uh, the same wheelbase. From what I can see, the chassis looks very similar as its predecessor, as well as the interior. The interior specs are identical to the previous generation. So there's that um, evolutionary, not revolutionary. They kept what worked on these trucks and just added to the, the components that need to be improved on. So I like to see that the chassis, the ride quality, uh, and the interior space is all there. Because let's be honest, on the rear of these trucks, there is a lot of leg room in the rear. So uh, it's been a great thing to have the same amount of space for the kiddos or travel or storage is a great feature. Now, something new also is the uh, storage. So you've got in-floor storage, this lifts up and you actually can store things here, lower the uh, back part down, use your key, and you actually can lock this. So if you're, if you're hunting or needing to store valuables underneath this rear, it's actually a lockable storage source now. So that's a great feature that's been added uh, to the 2021 model. I'm glad that race red did not go bye-bye. So we still got our race reds. Uh, there's been many trucks colors that have gone. So magnetic gray's gone, uh, bis gray also. Uh, lots of colors have left, but some new ones have came too. So here's a shot of the new colors available for the 2021. Looks great. Uh, coming on around, any, everything down to even the FX4 sticker has been changed. And I mentioned to you guys earlier, this is a predecessor wheel, 18 inch wheel. It's actually right here behind my mom who's filming for me today. But there's an 18 inch wheel that was pretty popular, but we always just said we wish it was a little bit bigger. So essentially the same wheel they blew up to a 20 inch is now available. So their list, the Ford does a good job of listening to uh, us, the dealers, and you, the consumer, on what to do to make the, the already best truck in America even better. So I love their new wheel options also. So coming on around, here's a good look. New tail light as well, blind spot monitor still available. Uh, tailgate's been revamped. You've got uh, a different bar set up up here, as well as the F-150 still embossed there. Uh, the XLT now gets the simple touch, easy access, new tailgate. Also has some more power uh, via a onboard generator, essentially, that's available on certain models. You've got a place for clamps to clamp wood down, a very functional um, workspace here. You can put your phone to, if you're going to uh, watch the video while you're trying to do some work here, the uh, handy, very handy tailgate step is still available also, uh, but just a more useful workspace back here for whether you're on the job or whatever you may be doing. The 2021 XLT in race red. You're gonna spend a little time behind the wheel. I love the center stack. Very informative on the information found there. But of course, the shining star in this package is the 12 inch touchscreen 
which is all new and now available, not just on the higher end packages, but even on the XLTs, you can get the big 12 inch screen. Sync 4, Sync 3 is gone. Sync 4 is now here and it's uh, much more intuitive and quick responding. Uh, you know, the old Sync systems were very slow and sluggish when it came to accessing each button and feature you were looking for. So I really like this full functionality of how quick response time it is to cycle through all the important information that you're needing to, to gather. Also, backup camera. So backup camera, very clear. The clarity's definitely gotten better. The 360 camera available on XLT as well uh, has a bigger picture to display all the information for you there. Um, grid lines still work when you turn on each feature there. And up here you've got a multitude of different camera angles. You can do a full sock screen there, uh, big and wide angle, and a nice uh, 180 shot for the rear. And now also available uh, in bed camera. And you've also got trailer reverse guidance. So you actually just it blurs out the trailer that you have behind you. Great feature. But just a great job with this screen. I like it being horizontal instead of vertical. I think it just uh, displays the information better for you as well. Um, just a great system overall. Still have your important buttons up top. Auto start stop. Your camera button. Rear park assist turn off. Uh, hazards traction control and hill descent control with the fx4 and down here you've got very nice love the way these buttons feel uh, very nice on the analog gauges which people still like heated seat functionality uh, just a great interior upgrade throughout the things they also carried over uh, safety wise and uh, aerodynamic wise the active grill shutters are still here also available now on your lower chin sp uh, splitter which I will dive into that when it comes to the accessory side, but this lower chin splitter has a automatic mode that drops down for better aerodynamics as well. So when it comes to upgrading an aftermarket wheel and tire combo, we'll have to be cautious of not to modify that to where it does not function if we're trying to fit a bigger size wheel and tire on this truck. And uh, we have many ideas of what we want to do to this 2021 truck when it comes to the accessory side. So stay tuned for more on that in, in the near future for you guys too. Um, the biggest thing I take away from this truck in general, from the, the, the driving of the power boost and the way this truck drives and the amenities and how much the interior has been improved, uh, Ford did a great job. They didn't change something that was broke. They took an already great truck and really just expanded on what uh, would make it an even better truck to stay in, stay in the front for 43 years and running now, the best truck in America. It's found right here at Aikens Ford in Winder, Georgia. We are your source. We're a top 10 dealership nationally. Um, so many features on all these trucks uh, seem to bring so much value to you, the consumer. Um, I think you'll truly love. I hope you guys have enjoyed this quick video. I'm Neil Shepard. Thanks for watching.